Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 16, Chapter 1, The Betrayal, Part 5. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the Tensura Light Novel. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The tension in the control room, which had been rising, eased a little. Dino got up and tried to do what he was supposed to do. He didn't want to work and didn't want to, but he couldn't say no to someone he had known for decades. He wanted to do it most of all because he felt like he had to. But he was stopped in the middle of what he was doing. Huh? Dino-san, what are you doing? As soon as Dino heard Shinji's voice, he knew that his plan had failed. He wanted to get everything done quickly so no one would notice, but the timing of divine intervention got in the way. Dino's actions shouldn't have been easy to figure out, but a mistake made it possible. Beretta grabbed Ramirez's hand just as he reached for her. Everything happened at once. If Shinji hadn't said anything, no one would have seen Dino. What do you think you're doing, Dino-sama? I really am surprised. I didn't think I'd be stopped. I was so wary because of you, and I was looking for a chance to relax. Give me a break, Shinji. You have everything you need to be a big deal. Dino was upset, but what he said was true. He knew that not many people in the world would have been able to see through what he was doing. Dino was so sure of himself, but now it was all for nothing. Dino sighed deeply and looked Shinji in the eyes. Then, with a shake of his head, he looked back at Beretta with cold eyes. Shinji and the others finally realized that things were getting worse than usual. But then that didn't mean that fixing the problem was easy. Ramirez seemed to be trying hard to figure out what was going on as she looked back and forth between Beretta and Dino. She had been caught off guard by the sudden change in events. Shinji moved away from Dino so he could take care of Vesta. Shinji's friends, Mark and the others, stayed where they were. Even with what was going on, they seemed to have fallen asleep. Everyone could see that this was not normal. Hey, Dino-san, didn't you do something? Well, yup. But really, if you can fight against my power, you must have some good skills as well. I'm impressed, Shinji. I don't like the compliment. He gave Shinji a compliment, but he didn't look at him like he didn't care. He only spoke to Ramirez by looking over Beretta's shoulder. I'm sorry, Ramirez, but can you work with us? I don't want to be mean to you, and if you work with me, I'll take good care of you. Look, we don't want to kill each other just to waste blood, right? Why don't you just come with me? Huh? You're the one who's crazy for talking like that. What are you even doing? When Rimuru returns, you'll be beaten to a pulp if you keep talking like that. You're right. I thought that's what you'd say. But I can't say that right now is enough. Even if I don't want to be, I am still the Watcher. When you say Watcher, do you mean that you were one of Veldanava Sama's seven primordial angels? Correct. I used to be one of the primordial angels, to be exact. I was assigned to watch over the surface when Feldway and others left for the other world. Are you kidding me? No, this is exactly right. This was a shocking fact that Ramirez had just recently learned. She always thought that Dino was just as much of a problem for the demon lords as she was. She didn't know that he was clearly an important figure. Ramirez could never have thought that Veldanava, the god who made everything, was the one who gave him his name. Veldanava had also given Ramirez a name, but she had forgotten it because she had been reborn so many times. Once she was whole again, she would remember everything, but she didn't know when that would be. I thought that everyone from the originals had left. No, that isn't true. When things settled down on the surface world, Veldanava Sama started looking for stability in the other world. I think you already know. Huh? Well, sure. Ramirez started acting a little strangely, but Dino didn't mind. He didn't want to talk about it anymore because it was too much trouble. So he thought Ramirez knew what was going on and kept talking to her. As a result, Feldway and three other originals were tasked with carrying out that assignment. There had been three of us left, including me, and we continued to work as Veldanava Sama's hands and feet. You as well? It's understandable that you're suspicious, but I'm a serious guy back then. But after that, something happened. I went from being a seraph to a fallen angel because of this and other things going on inside me. The same is true of my other colleagues, and now there isn't a single good primordial angel left. Wait, the most important part of the story is missing. The part that bothers me the most and is the most important. Stop talking, it's hard to explain. It's not important to me, so I'll let you fill in the blanks so we can start negotiating. Everyone who was there at the time thought, it's just too silly to leave something like this up to the imagination. But Dino was known for not having much patience, so everyone gave up because they thought it wouldn't help to ask him to explain more. 
they chose to pay attention to what Dino had to say. So, what do you mean when you say, negotiate? It's the same as what I said. If Ramirez is willing to help, I promise I won't touch anyone else in this maze. But if you refuse, there's nothing left to do. I'll have to kidnap you, even if I have to kill everyone who stands in my way. If you do that, there's no chance I'll cooperate. Well, you might be right, but that's not a big deal. The best thing would be if you agreed, but even if you didn't, as long as you closed the labyrinth, it would be fine. You don't want this, do you? Who gave you the order to do this? Well, I'm not sure if I can say that. I mean, I assumed Guy was the only one who could issue orders to you. Well, I guess it's kind of like that. But that's also not quite right. Why should I obey Guy's orders when we're on equal footing? Whatever, that's not important. No, it's really important. If it's not Guy, yes, that's right, it's Feldway, leader of the First Order. He must have returned from the other world and found you while you were wandering. You couldn't say no to him, right? The way Detective Ramirez guessed about mysteries was really scary. She was always drawing the wrong conclusions from what she knew, but she always got to the right answer. And she did it right again this time. Wow, that's crazy, but it's the right answer. Feldway put most of his resources into the operation, and it went perfectly. The operation had two main goals. One of them was to kill Masayuki. The other task was to demolish the labyrinth. It would have been hard to destroy the labyrinth, and there was a chance that the plan could go completely wrong. Feldway thought it was important to keep Ramirez safe so that this wouldn't happen. Feldway made the battle plan with the goal of getting rid of all the unknowns, and Dino did nothing but follow it. Feldway let you go because you're a delinquent, correct? That guy appears to be an honor student, thus you two don't seem to be a good match. Hey, I'm not a delinquent. I simply enjoy being sluggish. Well, his orders were inconvenient, so I was relieved when he left. Dino said that even though they had not talked in a long time, their relationship was still there. I see. So that means the people who are attacking are the originals. That's terrible. You should just ignore Feldway's orders and join our side. Dino gave Ramirez a smile, even though he was saying crazy things. But he still couldn't agree by shaking his head. It's too bad, but I have my own problems, too. Dino himself thought it was very strange that he couldn't go against Feldway. Even so, Dino just said no to Ramirez's idea. You, it looks like you mean it. That takes a lot of guts. I'll deal with you myself. I, too, am a pillar of the octogram, and I'm going to keep this place safe until Rimuru comes back. So it seems. I don't really want to work, to be honest. It would be great if I could live in a world where I didn't have to do anything, but I can't. I'm sorry, but I can't be kind. Don't worry, I won't kill you, so try as hard as you can to get away from me. Dino's face went back to its usual calm and laid-back look, and he waved his hand to answer. In this way, the talks came to a close. The time for talking was over, and the battle had started. For now, this is where the video ends. By the way guys, I'm inviting you join our Discord server, Realm of Ori. Where we can talk about Tensura topics and other stuff. So if you haven't joined yet, you can find the link in the description below. That's all for today and see you on my next video.